What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be bringing you guys a Chlorophyll Victory Bell team for Ranked Regulation F. Now, Victory Bell is an all-time favorite of mine from Generation 1. Anytime I did a Gen 1 playthrough or a Gen 1 remake playthrough growing up, I always had Victory Bell on my team. I just love this Pokemon sniping, and I love its design so much. But like I already mentioned, this thing is rocking Chlorophyll, which will double its speed in the sun. So if we want to pair it up with Pornatus in today's video, pop the sunny day, Victory Bell can then outspeed, getting off some damage or putting Pokemon to sleep. He's got Focus Sash as item with Energy Ball, Sleep Powder, Acid Spray, and Clear Smog. Absolutely love this moveset, because one, you can get some damage off with Energy Ball, you put Pokemon to sleep with Sleep Powder, but on top of that, you can take out stat changes with Clear Smog, and Acid Spray's lower special defense. So if we want to pair up Victory Bell with, say, Chiyu or Fluttermane, who are both on today's team, we can lower their special defense, allowing those Pokemon to pretty much just one-shot anybody. Other Pokemon on today's team features Tornadus, like we already mentioned. Nice little support Pokemon. Chiyu, Fluttermane, we already mentioned those guys as well. Great combo, but Chiyu's got the choice Scarf and Fluttermane's got the choice Spec. So we got some speed going there and we got some big time damage. Our final two Pokemon, starting off with Frigraph, nice support Pokemon who's going to be able to cancel out Trick Room with Imprison and Trick Room. It's got Hyper Voice and Helping Hand as other two moves. Love Frigraph and I love Imprison Trick Room users. Our final Pokemon is going to be Landers in its incarnate form. It's got Sheer Force and Life Orb, Earth Power, Protect, Sludge Bomb, and Rock Slide. Cannot go wrong with that moveset. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop through our first match, showcasing Victory Bell. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against HEU Fluttermane. We have the same combo, they also have Tornadus just like us, but on top of that, they got Warring Moon, Urshifu, and Wellspring over fun. So, to be honest, I think they end up leading Tornadus here, and I think we have to do the same thing, but we have to try to get Weather Control on our side, right? If we can get Sunny Day to pop, it's going to actually work wonders. They actually might not have Rain Dance. No, they probably do, considering they have Urshifu and Wellspring Ogrepan. So yeah, I'm going to go Tornadus here. I'm going to try to pop Tailwind, match their energy. I'm going to try to bring Victory Bell in the back end. But a Pokemon that I am going to lead might just be Fluttermane here. <clears throat> Fluttermane with a speed boost with Pro Synthesis could be really good. It could be really good. So I'm thinking of just leading a choice spec Fluttermane. Going in along with Tornadus. And then going Victory Bell and Chiyu in the back end. Especially with the choice scarf for Chiyu. Could be very dangerous, especially late game. So that's going to be the squad that we're bringing in here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But if I had to guess, they're probably leading Tornadus, right? We're probably going to go Tornadus, Tornadus. We're probably both going to Tailwind. And then I can try to pull off a Sunny Day. I really need the Sunny Day. That's the plan. That's the plan. Yep, Tornadus, Fluttermane. And guess who we're going with? Tornadus, Fluttermane. So I'm going to have to Terrasalize my, my uh, Fluttermane. I'm not dealing with Shadow Ball going in that slot. He's going to Proto-Synthesis pop right here right now. The speed is going to get heightened here. Um, that's fine. I mean, definitely want to go for a Tailwind here. Or I can go for an Icy. Ooh. I could maybe go for Icy when turn one, thinking that they're going to go for Tailwind. And the reason that would be good is because I can Icy win here to Rassalize Dazzling Link. Because I don't think they're going to take out my Tornado soon enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this, watch this. I have a plan. I, have a plan. I got a plan. Actually, do I have a plan? Now we're just going to play it safe. We're just going to play it safe. I can boost my speed in a little bit. We're just going to go Tailwind here. The so Tailwind, Terra, Dazzle. Bang. Alright. So sticking with our main... Main thing that we want to do. I was going to switch it up and go Icy Wind first. Because I believe they're going to go for Tailwind. They're going to try to deal damage with Fluttermane. Fluttermane's not going to KO. And then at that point, after that Icy Wind, I can Tailwind turn 2. Having Fluttermane out speed. And then just picking up KOs. Which actually probably would have worked really well. It probably would have worked really well, but I just want to play it safe, and I want to get this sun out here. So we'll, we go Tailwind for Tailwind. Their Fluttermane's going to be able to outspeed mine. Hopefully he's going for Shadow Ball. And no, he's going for the Icy Wind play. Okay. So he's going for the Icy Wind play, which is not that big of a deal. Nothing crazy. We're going to be able to Dazzle Gleam. The Dazzle Gleam's going to cook here. Half damage on both Pokemon, which is pretty massive. And now I can pop this Sunny Day and go for Dazzle Gleam. So Sunny Day, Dazzling Gleam, going to boost our speed up a little bit. Their Fluttermane probably outspeeds. I'm thinking their Fluttermane outspeeds us just because they have their Proto Synthesis pop. But I don't think they're, what's it called, outspeeds. They're Tornadus. 
Actually, did we just boost special attack? That's totally fine. This actually works out fine. This works out fine. He's gonna take out Twin Eyes. This works out perfectly fine. This works out perfectly fine. This works out perfectly fine, because I pick up a double KO. I thought I boost my speed here. Did I read my stats wrong? I don't mind boosting special attack. I'm choice spec. I'm choice spec, but there's some big time damage. We got the sun out here. We got rid of their weather control Pokemon. Pretty massive spot we're sitting here, because now I can bring out Victory Bell, who's double, double speed. What is it, quadruple speed here? Because of Tailwind and... And what's it called? And Tailwind? But I think I read my stats wrong. Now, who boosted their special attack? I think it was their flutter main. But I thought their booster energy boosted their speed. I'm confused. But no, we boosted our speed with our protosynthesis. Really good for us. And now I get to bring up Victory Bell. So Flutter Main probably fastest on the field. They're gonna throw out Chiyu. And they're gonna throw out Urshifu. So Chiyu, Urshifu come out here. Um gonna be Dark Urshifu, which is actually good for us. He's probably forced it to rest like that. And I think with Victory Belt and setting instead of just putting Pokemon to sleep, we should just be able to just acid spray. Lowering special defense by two stages. And who do I think they're gonna terrestrialize? Probably Urshifu, if anything. But I'm just gonna do that and just dazzle the game. Because is already four times a week for that. He's already four times a week. The Victory Bell coming out here. We love a good old Victory Bell. With Focus Ash, you gotta remember, we have Focus Ash, which is good. So if this thing wants to pop a Heat Wave into the slot, Victory Bell's gonna be able to sit. But we're gonna see Terrasalize come out here, probably from Urshifu, right? No, Chiyu's gonna grab it. And Chiyu's gonna go into a straight fire type. So even with this Acid Spray, I could see us still picking up the KO. Could still see us happen. Sucker Punch gonna fly here, which we so it's fine by me. And Acid Spray's flying, so Acid Spray gonna put him minus two on special defense. And Flutter Main, oh, you actually go first. Who just dodged that? Who dodged that? I'm actually curious. Flutter Main dodged it. That's massive, and that should be game. That should be game at this point. Focus Ash gonna keep us hanging on here. You are minus two on special defense. Urshifu is four times weak. Unless you're Sash. And yeah, that's going to be game. That's going to be game. This thing's going to Sash up. But Chiyu, gone. He's gone. Chiyu's gone. And now we're sitting here in a perfect position. Perfect position. Big time dodge from Fluttermane, though. But even if Fluttermane dodged, we bring out our choice scarf Chiyu in the sun. And it's game, set, match. I would just acid spray the, uh, the Urshifu that turn. And then we would just end it up. So, now from here, I can just drop a nice little energy ball into this slot and keep our choice spec dazzling flying. And they end up just ripping a sucker punch. That's fine, because guess what? Now my Flutter Mane's dead. But they really carried my Victory Bell. Come on, man. That's my Victory Bell. That's my boy. But there's our final dazzling gleam. Match number one, going to your boy, showcasing Victory Bell. Pretty solid. I definitely want to use it in match number two. Ladies and gentlemen, check it out. Grumpig in ranked regulation F. I love it. I don't know what it does, but I love seeing it here. We are 1 0, hopping into our second match, and we're going up against Grumpig. We are going up against Grumpig, which I actually really like. I'm going to go to an honest here, alongside Victory Bell, and then to be honest, I'm bringing in the same squad. I'm bringing the same squad. It's pretty simple for me to actually bring in these guys. I have to watch out for Heatran and Heatran. Ooh, maybe I, I should have thought this one out a little bit more. Maybe I should have went into Landers. Because Heatran. Massive threat to us. Definitely a massive threat. But if I can lower its special defense pretty well, that could be good for us. If I can lower its special defense, especially with Acid Spray. We could be sitting in a good position. But Grumpy, out and about. Definitely should have brought Landers. I, I think I, I think I did my team too quick. I got ahead of myself after seeing this giant massive pig in ranked regulation. F. That Pokemon is so cool. Now, you, you just never see it. This is my first time seeing it in Scarlet and Violet competitive. Actually, first time seeing it, seeing it in competitive in general you never see a spoon grump pig i love its pre-evolution spoink spoink rocks guys spoink's the real deal just a little spring pig bouncing up and down and like the lore behind spoink is even crazier it's just like if it stops bouncing it dies supposedly that's crazy poor little spoink poor little spoink but shen pao's gonna come out here um real question is sunny day or tailwind sunny day or tailwind What's your terror type? You got steel on you? You two got steel on you. Alright, never mind. We're gonna go into steel. Cause I'm gonna put you to sleep, Heatran. I'm not dealing with you. I'm gonna terrestrialize and I'm going to pop a tailwind. A tailwind here would be 
in the best of interest. So I'm going to Seal Terror just in case. I am scared of the Heat Wave, but I would be putting this thing to sleep. But just in case the Ice Spinner flying into the Tornado slot, right? It flies into Victory Bell slot, we just use our Focus Ash. Everything works perfectly. But Tailwind's going to fly, and we're just going to put Heatran to sleep. If it lands, I swear, if this doesn't land, I would be so upset. Thank you. Thank you, Victory Bell. Thank you for being, being a good guy. So they put the Heatran to sleep. Pretty massive. Ice Spin is going to come through here into Victory Bell, which is totally fine. I don't mind that. That's why I got the Focus Ash. And from here, we can now pop Sunny Day and start lowering Special Defense. Actually, we can't. It's Heatran Steel type. We are in so much trouble. We are in so much trouble. More trouble than you would have ever thought. We are in so much trouble. This is bad. It's bad news. This is bad. This is bad. This is this is more than bad. This is more than bad. Once I locked in my team, I was just like, dude, Heatran is going to stomp on us. But I'm gonna energy ball here. Doing some nice damage, and he's going to go for another Ice Spinner and just finish off my Victory Bell. Not a big deal. Hopefully, Heatran is asleep for this turn, too. That'd be pretty massive. And, of course, it just wakes up. So, now I'm dead to Heat Wave. Or Magma Storm. That works. Actually, we died. Okay, so that works. That works. So, from here, um... Who do we go into? Who do we go into? We could start snarling, but that hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm kind of hoping a Bleak Windstorm lands. I might have to bank on Bleak Windstorm landing here. I'm going to bank on Bleak Windstorm landing. I have to. It's a must. I have to bank on Bleak Windstorm land. I have to start getting after this Heatran. This Heatran has to die. This Heatran has to die. So I'm going to go into a Shadow Ball choice. Into you. And I'm banking on Bleak Windstorm KO in this Shen Pao. Sucker Punch flying. We soaked that. A lot of damage, but we still soaked that. And Shadow Ball connected. Shadow Ball, not bad damage. Special Defense does drop. Bleak Windstorm's missing. Hit Shen Pao. Let's go. Okay, I needed that. So we hit the Shen Pao. Um, if you're going for Heat Wave, that's a double KO. We are just done for the game. And no, it's gonna go for a Magma Storm instead, so that's pretty good because I still keep my Flutter main on the field. And now I get to bring out Chiyu, so another Shadow Ball should KO this, this, uh, what's it called? Another Shadow Ball should KO this Heatran. So I knew this Heatran would be tough, man. If I had land, that would be a different story. Luckily, that thing didn't Heat Wave. Heat Wave. Oh my lord. Would have been oh my lord. Now, does he have another first turn priority Pokemon in the back end? I hope not, because again, we have we have all the speed. We have all the speed. And without first turn priority, they cannot take out my Fluttermane, allowing Fluttermane to get rid of Heatran. And who they got coming in? Who you got? What you got cooking here? Lando, cool. I don't, I don't mind Lando. I do not mind Lando. So from here, I'm just going to stick with Shadow Ball. And I'm going to choice into... Hmm... Probably Heat Wave here. Let's be honest. We need the Sun Boost. We need to try to take out Lando here. That's exactly what we're going They could be going into maybe... I could double down maybe into... No, this has got to be our play. We have to hope this Heat Wave kills. Which it might not. We're going to see a Terra pop out. And probably Lando, right? What you got? What you got? I'm going to go into Poison Titan. So Poison's going to fly out here. Poison Terra Titan. And are you protecting Heatran? You don't. So Heatran dies here. Heatran dies all day. We might as well on special defense. And we're next to Chiyu now. So Heatran gone. Heat Wave, can you finish this thing off? Heat Wave flying. It does, yo. Let's go. Let's go. So I knew Heatran was going to be a problem once we ended up uh, locking in our Pokemon. But to be honest, we just made the battle, battle a little bit harder for ourselves. And we're going to still end up probably winning this match. Maybe. We'll see who their final Pokemon is. Because Tailwind's gone. We still do have Protosynthesis Boost, which is really good. And Urshifu's going to come out here. It's going to be Water Urshifu, which actually works pretty well for us. So I'm going to Shadow Ball here. Actually, I don't know if it does work well. I wouldn't be choosing the Heat Wave here. How much damage can we possibly do? 
That ball should cook. Nice damage, right? Oh my god, just one-shotting. Choice spec. Just doing some damage. So that's the match. Match number two. Going to your boy. We're now 2-0. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Final match is here. Going up against High Drapple. High Drippy Drapple. Love that Pokemon so much. Alongside with Terrakion and Whimsicott. They also have Chiyu Flutter me just like us. And last but not least, they're rocking out with Incineroar. One thing that I see is their only way of weather control is Whimsicott. And that would be Sunny Day. So, kind of should just go into Victory Bell here. Or my Sunny Day Pokemon. I do like that. So, I'm going to go into Tornadus here as a lead. I'm also going to go into Victory Bell. That's something I really like. Considering if they want to end up leading Terrakion and Whimsicott, I can just Sunny Day or Tailwind here. And then just put Teraki on to sleep and kind of get after it that way. And if they do go Chi, you flutter me. And I could end up maybe potentially terrestrializing you into Ghost. That would be okay. Or I can just, again, just pop Sunny Day or Tailwind and put one of them to sleep. Yeah, sleeps are best option. So I'm going to go into both of them. I'm going to have Chi, you in the back end. And instead of bringing, actually, we'd rather have flutter me here. Just because of typing wise. But instead of bringing the same squad every single time, we're going to bring Landers out. A little bit of Lando action. Just because Lando is an absolute unit. This thing hits like a truck. I should have brought him in the last match, but we actually lucked out and still won the match. And I, I, I was fully ready to just lose to that heat train, right? I was fully ready just to die out to that heat train and win that match. Or, and lose that match. But in this instance, they go these two. And I'm going to have to put... I'm going to have to put Chiyu to sleep, right? I'm going to have to put Chiyu to sleep. Photosynthesis is going to pop here, and they're going to Tailwind up. A little annoying, but I'm going to have to put Chiyu to sleep here, and pop a Tailwind. I'm going to Tailwind, I'm going to put Chiyu to sleep, and we're going to get after that. Because I believe Victory Bell, or both my Pokemon, should be able to eat up whatever Fluttermane has to offer. But, not so much on the, uh, on the Flutter, uh, the Chiyu side. Right, a Heat Wave, doing a lot of damage. I do have Focus Ash, which is good, but they're just going to end up icing me. They're going to slow me down a little bit. Take off my Focus Ash. Not that big of a deal. Sleep Powder's going to come out here. And we're going to do that. That's pretty good for us. That's pretty good for us. Especially because we had Cobra Cloak. And I don't lose speed here. So now from this position, I could pop a Sunny Day. But to be honest, I think going Bleak Wind Storm and maybe Acid Spray could be good. Or I can just go Sunny Day. Acid spray into you and just lower your special defense. That's something I like. So I could have put the Flutter Mane to sleep if I wanted to, but I don't want to be a spore sleep spam user. So I'm just gonna lower this thing's special defense right now. He probably dies out this turn to an icy wind. But I think we're totally fine considering now you're lower on special defense. To you, you should still be asleep. I'm gonna be very upset if you're not. Very upset if you're not. Cool. And now I get to bring out a Pokemon such as Flutter Mane here. Or I can just go into you. But I actually... Ooh. No, we're going to go into Flutter Mane. This is just like staple victory bell, what we wanted to do today. Drop special defense, bring out our special attackers, and then start ripping. Ripping. So now you're minus two on special defense. Now I can start throwing Bleak Wind Storms around. On top of that, Terrasalize Dazzling Gleam with the choice specs. Come on, man. Come on, yeah. You're going to withdraw that Flutter Mane all day. Come on, man. And they're going to go into Incineroar. And now I Terrasalize oh, into Fairy, which kind of sucks for me, to be honest. And the reason that sucks so bad is because now we can fake me out next turn if we don't pick up Kale. But I still expect this to do some big time damage with this Choice Spec Fairy Terror Stab. Big time damage, right? Big time damage. I think Flutter, or not Flutter, I mean, uh, Chiyu dies out to this. But I think Incineroar is able to soak, eat up a berry, and then... Probably soak up a Bleak Wind Storm. Let's see. Oh no, they both soak rather well. Bleak Wind Storm's gonna miss one. Don't miss two. Cool. Gonna hit Incineroar and. Mmm, it lives. It lives. Now Heat Wave's flying. Who dodged that? Who dodged that? Of course, Fluttermane doesn't dodge it. Now Fluttermane dies. Mmm. Man. That one hurts. That one hurts. But now I get to go into Lando. Now I get to go into Lando. Now I get to go into Lando. So they could fake out Lando. Um, maybe just protect it. We do have Cobra Cloak, which is good. 
So I'm just gonna protect it. And we're gonna get after it this way. Protect comes out from the Lando. Chiyu could have been solid here, but I actually really like Lando. There's the fake out into the Lando slot. Nice little protect. And can Bleak Wind Storm double land? Please and thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you, Tornadas. That's so big. That's so big for us, because I believe Tailwind ends this turn. And picking up a double KO here leaves Tornadas on the field. So now we can get off potentially another Tailwind if it's there. And if we if I misread the turns. Okay, no, we didn't. I was going to say, if we misread the turns, then we just have an extra turn in Tailwind. The Tailwind gone. They're going to go Flutter Main here. Flutter Main comes out here. And Hydrippy Drapple flying out here as well. Hydrippy Drapple. The Drip Drap coming out here. So Speed Boost gonna heighten that Flutter Main. Still looking scary. We're gonna pop a Tailwind yet again. And then from here, we're going straight Sludge Bomb into the Flutter Main slot, right? I feel like Hydrippy Drapple poses more of a threat. Or not, not Hydrapple. Flutter Main poses more of a threat than Hydrapple. So we pop a Tailwind here. Sheer Force Lando for the KO. Oh no, we don't pick it up. And Icy Wind flies. That's gonna be game. That's gonna be game. Unless we could soak up whatever this thing has to offer, but I doubt it, right? Fickle Beam? Fickle Beam. And it's gonna go for an all-out attack, isn't it? No, it doesn't, but still we die out to that. Wow, yo, Sludge Bomb not KO in there? That's actually a little upsetting. It really is. But hey, 2-1 for today's video. I'll take that all day. Guys, I just realized in that last match, instead of going for Sludge Bomb, we should have went for Earth Power to get the stab boost. I don't know why, but I always feel as Sludge Bomb is stabbed with Landers, considering its terror type is always poison. But until they forgot, just decided to go into a Sludge Bomb, didn't even think about it. Should have went for an Earth Power there, and then we probably would have had a shot at KO and Fluttermane. Yeah, if we would have KO'd Fluttermane there, we'd win that match all day long. But I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. If I go for an Earth Power there, then we KO Fluttermane and win that match. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.